Let's talk about yarn bowls. What are they? Are they a worthwhile purchase? Do you need one? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Desert Blossom Crafts, back with another video on my channel where I share crochet pattern stitch tutorials and yarn and tool reviews weekly. Today we're going to be talking about yarn bowls. If you haven't seen one of these before, this is generally what they look like. I wanted to talk about yarn bowls because I don't think they're talked about enough and when they are talked about people kind of just tell you what the benefits are of using them at least from what I've seen um, they give you a list of great ones to buy but they don't tell you the pros and the cons and that's what I'm all about here on my channel is I want to be totally honest and tell you exactly what I think of whatever the products I'm using so today we're going to talk about these yarn bowls. I'm going to tell you the good, bad, and the ugly, all the pros and cons, and then of course I will show you my favorite yarn bowls as well. So at this point I've already showed you a yarn bowl. This is a pretty classic one. It's made from wood. This in particular is called the Rosewood Yarn Bowl from... We crochet or knit picks, which by the way, a huge thank you to them for sending these to me so I can share them with all of you. So as we get started, let's talk about how to use a yarn bowl. What is the purpose of a yarn bowl anyway? Obviously they're pretty to look at, but what we really want from them is that they have a good function that can help us in our crocheting. So to use a yarn bowl, you generally put a cake of yarn in the bowl and then you find the end, you just unwind it a little bit and you put it through the swirl. And then when you crochet, you just pull right from the working yarn and it just keeps it right in the bowl. So here are the benefits to a yarn bowl. First of all, it can keep your yarn from flying around. Um, I don't know about you, but even in some of these skeins I have here, um, there's a lot of little hairs. I have a cat and if this rolls around on the ground at all, it will for sure get cat hair and dog hair in it. So the first benefit to ha having one of these is it can protect your yarn from that because you can just keep it in here at all times while you're crocheting. It won't be rolling around on the ground or on the couch. So that's the first big benefit to having a yarn bowl. Secondly, and also importantly, Yarn bowls can keep your yarn from getting tangled in a similar way as they keep the hair away. Keeping them in this bowl can ensure that they don't get tangled as easily because um, when they're rolling around, that's when the strands can get loose and everything like that. So this will keep it nice and securely in the bowl and you just keep on working from it. So now let's get into the cons. There are some cons to yarn bowls and there's one really big one that I can think of for myself and you might be similar to this so just keep listening maybe this won't be a con to you it really does depend on what type of crochet you are what types of yarns you use and things like that so the biggest con that I can think of is that you really can't use these with skeins you have to use either cakes or balls of yarn and even the balls are a little bit more tricky to use than cakes. Cakes will always go really smoothly in the yarn bowls because they just come, they just turn around. So you want to make sure when you're using a cake you use the strand that is around, not from the center pole because I tried that and it, it doesn't work. Instead you just want to make sure and use the one from the side and it will turn around nice and smoothly as you use it. But anyway, what I'm trying to get at here is the con to the yarn bowl is that, you know you can't put a skein in it so if you use a lot of hanks and you're already making your hanks into cakes then you will love a yarn bowl because you can make full use out of all of its benefits and you're already having to make um, your hanks into into cakes whereas if you use a ton of skeins what you have to end up doing is winding all your skeins into hanks like this which is totally possible if that's something you want to do and you it's worth it to you to use the yarn bowl for that then great by all means do that for me i just don't have time 
to wind all my skeins into cakes. That would just take way too much time for me. So you really have to evaluate and see what you think. Um, it will depend on the yarn you use and the amount of time you want to take. So that is kind of a broad overview of my brutally honest review of yarn bowls, as I say in the title. You really got to think about the pros and the cons and see if it's worth it for you to buy one. Don't just go off of what people say, oh yeah, they're great, they're always beneficial. Yes, they are, if you can get them to work with you and your process of crocheting. So that is the main thing I just want you to think about before you go and buy any yarn bowls. I'm about to show you some of my favorite ones, but don't just go and buy them because I say they're awesome. Think about whether you're actually going to be able to use it. So with that in mind, let's jump into some of these cool ones. So I have three yarn bowls right here. I already showed you the Rosewood yarn bowl. This one is really nice. Um, I definitely do recommend this one. I believe it is $20 <clears throat> on Knit Picks or We Crochet, so it's really nice and affordable, and it's just a beautiful wood. So there's not too many cons to this bowl in particular. Um, I am going to tell you what I like or don't like about each of these bowls, but this one is pretty good overall. Um, but if we go to the next one I have here. This one is called, it's, it's made from resin, so it looks ceramic, but it's made from resin. Um, it, all these are on Knit Picks or We Crochet, and the links will be down below in the description box if you're interested in getting a yarn bowl. Um, this one I did really like as well. I think what I like better about it, oh no, they are the same height. So these two are the same height, so if I just show you comparison this one, this uh, cake in this one versus this one, it's pretty similar. For some reason it looks taller in this one, but comparing them they are the same height. I think what it is is this one is a little bit um, wider in diameter, this one is a little bit smaller, so it almost like fits the cake overall better. If you love the look of this yarn bowl, I believe it is $24.99 on We Crochet, um, and that link will be down in the description. So let's now talk about metal yarn bowls. So this one looks so pretty. When I saw this one, I just fell in love. Um, but this actually turned out to not be my favorite overall out of all the, f there will be five that I'm showing you. Um, and I'll tell you why in a second. So the metal looks really pretty, but if you notice when you put your yarn into it, first of all, what I notice is this one is not as tall. So the yarn is going to be easier to pop out if you have a large cake. If you usually have smaller hanks, then this bowl might be perfect, like um, shorter but larger, because this is a larger diameter but a shorter height. So with this one, um, it will depend on, again, the type of yarn you're using. But I personally didn't like it as much for this taller type of cake. And then... If we put the yarn through here, it is, it's nice and smooth, you know, it's, it's not like it um, isn't smooth, but the thing I did not like about this one is just listen to the noise it makes while you pull the yarn through. So it kind of makes a clingy, <laughs> a clingy noise when you pull the yarn through. Now you may like that, if you like that, that is totally fine. But now you know before you buy it what it will sound like. Um, I personally find that a little bit distracting as I'm working. Um, so I prefer the other yarn bowls to this one. The other thing with this bowl is the swirl doesn't quite come up as far as these ones. You can see these kind of come down farther. They come up and then down. Um, this one comes up and down, but then this section right here isn't very big, so the yarn does tend to kind of slip out of the loop easily if you're going kind of fast as you work. So those are just things to think about. Like I said, I love the look of this bowl. It's so pretty, and I probably will use it, but I just prefer these other two bowls. So I cleared my workstation and brought in the last two bowls, and then I realized I hadn't told you the price of this one. This one is a little more expensive. It is $40 on We Crochet. So that's another reason why I 
not sure if this one is worth getting. It is more expensive and there are those cons that I told you about. Um, one last nice thing about this though, it is really heavy. So if you have it on a table, it's not going anywhere. It is nice and heavy. Um, so anyway, that is the metal yarn bowl. You can take that information and do with it what you'd like. So let's move on now. I'm going to save this one for last because it's my favorite. But let's talk about plastic yarn bowls now. So this is called the Valet Yarn Bowl on Crochet, and it is obviously a lot cheaper. This one is only $12.99 and I will be totally honest with you, when you buy a yarn bowl, you do get what you pay for. So if you don't have the money to buy one of these more expensive ones, then this can be a great option for starting out. It's plastic, it doesn't look as pretty, so there's that. But if it's all you can afford, it's a great, or if you just want to like start by trying out a cheaper yarn bowl um, that's still pretty good quality, this is the way to go. So as you can see, this one does not have a swirl. Instead it has this little um, tab here and you just stick the yarn right underneath it. And I didn't realize that at first, I was trying to like poke it through and then um, I was working and my yarn just slipped out of <laughs> this. So it, it can come out and in. Um, so it's just in this hole here then while you work and it still comes through pretty smoothly if you watch me pull to see how it just came out though. So you would want to kind of have it over to your left and then pull from the right so the yarn doesn't slip out. But nice and smooth so long as you don't pull it out from the left side. So once again, this yarn bowl is $12.99. It's a great starting out option. Um, the biggest con I would say to this one is that it's not heavy. Like all the other ones are heavy enough that if you put them on the table, they're not gonna just like fall off easily while you're pulling the yarn. Um, this one could, that could potentially happen, especially if it was close to the edge. Um, it just doesn't have the weight of the other ones because it's plastic. But again, if you want to start out with a cheaper option, this could be a great one for you. Okay, and last, but certainly not least, I have to show you the Maplewood Yarn Bowl. This one is just so pretty. This is probably my top favorite. The other wooden one is probably my second favorite. Um, I just love the look of this one. It's a different shape, right? It's um, It starts out smaller, kind of gets bigger, and then curves in. So it does, um, the only con I can think of to this is it kind of gives the illusion of fitting bigger yarn balls, um, but when you put it in, it's really the same size. It just has a wider brim, um, and th the design is just kind of makes it look bigger even though it's not. Now, what I do like about this though, I love this brim because it just keeps the yarn in there so nice and snug. There's not, it's not really gonna come out, um, it just fits in there perfectly. I just love the way it looks. <laughs> um, but if we try using it again, here's my end. So we're just gonna put this through the swirl like normal. Okay, so let's try pull, giving it a pull. There we go, nice and smooth. It's really smooth, so nice. Okay, so this one is definitely on the top with the other wooden one and the resin one that looks ceramic. Um, it just pulls through so nicely. The swirl is also nice and deep, so the yarn stays in really well as you pull it out. And then lastly, what I like about this one is it has these other little holes on the side, and those are not just decorative, so I want to tell you what you can do with these. So, sometimes yarn bowls will have this. This is the only one of these five that have the holes. Um, and this can be a cool feature that you may want to look for in a yarn bowl because it's just nice to have it. Um, so what you can do, you have two options. You can either use these like if you're doing color work and you have like two small balls of yarn, you can stick one through the swirl and you can do one through these holes over here and then have multiple ones going at once and not get tangled. 
Um, and then secondly, another thing you can do is put your hook in here with your project. So um, let me grab a hook really quick. Um, so just imagine I have a project on this. Once I am done, I can just stick my hook through it and through the, the yarn so I don't lose the hook. I, if you're like me, I'm sure you've set down your hook, lost it in the couch, set it down in a random place and just forgotten where you put it. So this is a great way to just save your hook. You can just stick it right on through the loop and you can even stick your project in here as well. Um, now this is one area that <laughs> it's funny because this one, this yarn bolt was a little bit smaller, so you may have more trouble fitting your project into this one. Um, if we come to more of a wider mouth one, it actually could be easier to fit your project in it. And then you could always stick your hook through the swirl as well, or even just through the top. So it's really, you kind of have to experiment, see, look at your different options, see what projects are you making, what yarns are you using, all those types of things when you're looking at a yarn bowl, they're just things to think about. So there you have it, here are all five of my yarn bowls. Of course, there are lots of other purchasing options for these. You can look at Joann's, um, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. They do have their own selection of yarn bowls, and this is a way you can go into store and feel and look at them. You can also look on Amazon. There's a lot of like handcrafted ones that are really pretty. They're usually more expensive, but they look absolutely gorgeous. They may have like whimsical or funny looking ones. Like I've seen one with a sheep. Um, lots of different stuff there. Um, maybe I'll link some of my favorites of that I've seen on Amazon in the description box below as well. But yeah, those are kind of your purchase options. You can go for a nice online store. You can go for Amazon or you can go in store. But whatever you choose, I hope this video was helpful. And I hope you have a clearer picture of what yarn bowls are, how you can use them, and if they're even necessary for you. So I hope that you're able to evaluate your crochet journey and see if you are ready for a yarn bowl or if you're going to pass on this one. And that's okay too. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more Brutally Honest crochet reviews, I would love if you come subscribe and leave a comment with what review you'd like to see next. If there's a yarn or a tool that you've been wondering about and you want to know exactly whether it's worth it or not, just leave a comment and let me know what it is and I'll see what I can do about that. Thanks guys so much for watching. Bye.